Hi, I'm CJ. Do you have any cans? <laughs> also, a happy Thanksgiving. Welcome to the Bear. Hey, babe. Punk loser. Now, I know you said not to bring anything, but I didn't want to be rude and show up empty-handed. Oh, please. I think we can make room for one little dish. All right! Back it up, boys! Don't worry, honey. There's no way they're going to upstage your meal. Hi, this is a pig on a spit. Where would you like a Kitchen. kitchen. Wow, look at this place. It's so festive, Mrs. L. <laughs> well, Bobby, we louds go all out for Thanksgiving. These store-bought decorations are nice, Rita. Though, as a professional artist, I prefer the handmade touch. Aw, you made Bobby and me two peas in a pod. That's so sweet. And the room feels more personal. So, so much, much better. better. Yeah, literally so a lot. Dinner. Here they are! Lori, Bobby! We saved you a spot. No, we saved you a spot. Um, how about we sit in the middle? Here, try my turkey skin infused stuffing. You're gonna love it. But first, try my tamales. I added an extra kick. <laughs> an extra kick, that's cute. They don't want heat, they want sweet. Here, kids, taste my marshmallow covered potatoes. <laughs> How do you know what they want? They're clearly craving my homemade shredded turkey mole. I'd like to make a toast. Bobby, Lori, I just want to say how much it means to have you here with us. I don't know if I can get through this. Oh, Mom. Uh, excuse me if I might. I'm sure it means a lot to you, Rita, but uh, with all respect, it means more to us. Well, Hector, that seems really unlikely because nothing means more to us, okay? Oh, really? Yeah. Is that so? Yeah, that's right. Forget the toast. I can say it's so much better with me. Music. We love Bobby and Lori more than anyone in the world. Oopsie. How dare you! Control your children! It is not safe to have Thanksgiving in this house. Well, if you don't like it, you're welcome to leave. Not you, Bobby. You can stay. That's what you want, isn't it? To steal our precious Roberto away from us! Oh, oh, oh! Like you haven't been trying to steal Lori from us! Well, guess what, bucko? It's not gonna happen! Guys, guys, please stop! Stay out of this! Why would anybody want to spend Thanksgiving here knowing I'm your dry bird? <laughs> the turkusan is delicious. Maybe the problem is your yeah, lumpy gravy. Did someone say gravy? No, they don't deserve it. Uh, in the mouth of shit, mouth of shit. I know a way to settle this. Yeah, arm wrestle. Let's go. No, let's just ask Lori and Bobby where they would rather spend Thanksgiving. Huh, where'd they go? I'm sorry, we've been acting so childishly. We're sorry too. It's just so hard to let go of your kids. You know what? You should get Lori and Bobby for Thanksgiving. Well, goodness knows we haven't done anything to deserve that. They should spend it with you. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't you just rotate every year, huh? Much like the juicy hot dogs I'm selling at a mere 40% markup. Holiday discount. Works for us. Yeah. Nice idea. Yeah. I'm glad we figured out future years, but what about right now? I'm starving. Well, we've got hot dogs and sunflower seeds and 20 kinds of artisanal jerky. Maybe we could throw a dinner together here. I'm game. Me too. We could make this place look festive. I think I have some leftover decorations in the car. I'll help you. What do you think, babe? Best tea giving ever? Literally our best so far. Thanks, Boo Boo Bear. A toast. toast. To Thanksgiving traditions. Old and new. Old and new. So where are the tickets? Like I said. Ronnie Ann! 
I can't believe you found a third ticket at the bottom of the bottle. I know, right? Super lucky. Okay, go on in. I'll meet you guys inside. Okay, get in. You're the butt. What? Where's my ticket? This is your ticket. Bobby's old Tippy the Cow Halloween costume. With this on, we can walk right through the employee entrance. But I thought you knew a guy. I do. I'm the guy. Nope, not doing it. Fine. Stay here while your friends have a blast on the new chocolate milkshaker. Wait. Uh, I'll do it. But you're the butt. Whoa, 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 whoa. See? Told ya. Easy peasy. Now let's ditch the costume. Hey, you. Stop right there. Oh, man. I can't believe they caught us already. Don't worry. Just be the cow. You're a little late for your shift, Tippy. Better escort you to the pasture. The what now? Relax. I've seen Tippy do her thing before. She mostly just stands there. How hard can it be? I have a whole new respect for Tippy. At least we get to sit. Ah! <sighs> Wait, that's Sid and Lincoln. Oh man, so close. I won't miss this time. Ah! How could you, Sid? Did you just hear Ronnie Ann? Drink, Rima! Drink! Please say we're done now. Hey, Tippy! Oh, not again? Time for the big show! The big show? Okay, kids! Who wants to see Tippy blasted from a cannon? <laughs> oh, yeah! Yeah! Wow, this show got a lot better since the last time I was here. Now what are we going to do? But first, a piggy dance. Ronnie Ann's not answering my texts. What's taking her so long? I'm gonna call her. That's funny. I thought I just heard Ronnie Ann's phone ringing from that tippy on stage. <laughs> I think my BFF radar would tell me if Ronnie Ann was in a cow costume. Here, I'll prove it. Ronnie Ann is in the costume. Ronnie Ann, what are you doing in there? I'll explain later. Just get us out of here. Us? Carl and the cow! Quick, help me pull. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. But what about Carl? Yes, still in the cow! Blast off in three, two, one, fire! Ah! Actually, this is kind of fun. Live on the dream. Grab Carl and get out of here. Stop right there. Goof. Out you go. And shame on you. Guys, I'm so sorry. I ruined our day. The truth is, I only won two tickets. And when you both wanted to come, I couldn't bring myself to choose between you. I didn't want you to think I was playing favorites. Oh, Ronnie Ann, we would never think that. Sure, we both wanted to go, but we would have understood. For sure. And actually, Rusty won a pair of tickets, too. If I'd known, I could have just asked him for one. Ugh, I really messed up. I should have just told you guys the truth. I promise from now on, I'll be more honest. Aw, group hug! <laughs> I need to be more honest, too! Huh? What now? I'm not a real security guard! I won two tickets, but I couldn't decide between my cousin and my gardener. So I gave them my tickets and dressed like this to get in. What are the odds? You kids taught me something today. Go on, go have fun. Yes. Thanks, Fate Guard. To the chocolate milkshaker. Keep arms and legs inside the ride. Let's get shaking. <laughs> But I am going to tell him what he should be thinking. I still don't get why I have to come along. Because Ronnie has your girlfriend! She is not my girlfriend. Lincoln, we are literally crossing a bridge. Do you really want to get into an argument with me right now? Oh, I wonder who that could be. I'll just let them in. know there's a vicious gang of cats trying to get in here? <laughs> this is my mom's brother Carlos, his wife Frida, their kids Carlota, CJ, Carl, and Carlitos, and my grandma and grandpa. Anyway, Lori, you must really miss Bobby. He's in the bodega. Let's go. 
Lincoln, after such a long drive, you must be famished. I could eat. Bobby, look! It's your beautiful, devoted girlfriend. She came all this way to see you. Wow, babe, this is the best day ever. First I get a sticker gun and now you're here? Bobby, what is all this about you moving away? I know it might seem like a shock, but don't worry. I have everything figured out. My grandpa said I can work in the bodega with him, and this place is really rad. Let me show you around. You're going to love where I put the milk. What do you mean you didn't convince him? He talked about the bodega for 40 minutes until the beef jerky guy showed up, and at that point I had literally reached my limit. <sighs> we need to do something to get Bobby's attention. Ooh, now you're going to get all the boys' attention. <gasps> I know. What is with this family and the arm pulling? Oh, I think I ate too much. Hey, Lincoln, want to play pirates? Oh, I'd love to play pirates, CJ, but I have a stomach ache. I can take care of that. What are you? Oh, let's do this. <laughs> On guard. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to do a makeover. Finally! We'll start by throwing out all of these clothes. I usually donate, but nobody is going to want these. Not me, her. Oh, see, I didn't mean that. You have just a really unique look. It's sort of rugged, yet, dude, move on. No, oh, babe, are you okay? Uh... I'm gonna have to charge you for that flower. I'm really gonna miss you, Boo Boo Bear. But I'm so excited about our future together. Me too, babe. I'll be counting down the days until I see you again. <laughs> uh. So, I guess this is goodbye. Yeah, smell you later, Lamo. Whoa, you've never hugged me before. Don't get used to it. Lori's gonna be so surprised. Nice form, Lori. Looking good. <laughs> Thanks to all the one-on-one -on -one time you've given me. One-on-one -on -one time? Hey, babe. <laughs> Bobby? Yep, that's right. Your boyfriend, Bobby. I came to surprise you. But enough about me. Who's this guy? <laughs> this is my classmate, Ewan. You must be the famous Poo Poo Bear I've heard so much about. It's Boo Boo Bear. Ewan's been helping me with my game. He's literally the best golfer here. Nice! Helping how exactly? Oh, with techniques like this. Grip the club tight, Lori. Widen your stance. You're doing great. <laughs> That's my impersonation of Ewan. That is so me, Lori. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> this is all so funny for me. <laughs> Lori's amazing. You're a lucky guy. Thanks, you're in. Ewan, you're in. Got it. I'm so excited you're here. Is that Carl and Sergio? Hey, what up, Double L? Uh, they kind of invited themselves. Oh, I want to show you how much better my drive's gotten. All thanks to you and... <laughs> oh, stop, Lori. You're making me blush. Great. <laughs> but give me a sec to check on the boys. Got to make sure they're behaving themselves. Did you guys see all that? I think that guy's into Lori. And she doesn't exactly seem to hate him either. You're right to worry. That dude is after your girl. Man, he's hot. And you're you. Oh, this is awful. What do I do? Relax. You just have to make him look like a chump. You don't think that's kind of mean? <laughs> Suit yourself. But don't come crying to me on their wedding day. What? <laughs> You win. 
but you lose. <sighs> Good game, Bobby. Good game indeed. I haven't seen talent like that since ever. I guess I'm a natural. Any chance you'd join the team? We could use a new star player. But Ewan's your star player. Well, he was. Ewan, we should have a little chat. No need, coach. After that game, I'm quitting golf. I guess I'll just move back home and work at my dad's toilet repair company. Huh. Toilet repair company? Yeah, it's not so bad. At least I'll be closer to my girlfriend. Girlfriend? Well, fiance, actually. Fiance? I'm sorry to see you go, Ewan. Bobby, you could be on my team! Living here with me, this is so amazing! Uh, yeah, about that. Oh, I can't join your team, coach. And you can't leave, Ewan. And Lori, as much as I want to, I, I can't come to school here with you. Why? Why? Because I cheated. <gasps> Carl, Sergio, and those forest creatures helped me do it. Don't listen to him! Do I look like someone who would actually help Bobby? I'll prove it. This is what my real shot looks like. Ugh. Ow! You and Ewan were getting so close, I was afraid I'd lose you. So I made Ewan look bad. I'm so sorry, Lori, and Ewan, and everyone. Bobby, that's ridiculous. I love you so much, I would never leave you for you and or anyone. Really? Of course, Boo Boo Bear. So I'm not awful at golfing? I still got it? Of course! I knew it all along. I was just kidding before. Please don't leave us, Ewan. Relax, coach. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Told you my plan would work. <laughs> Delusional much? <laughs> Hi, CJ. Hey, buddy. Long time no see. You made it. Welcome How are the road signs on your way in? <laughs> Greetings, my lovely gazelle. Oh, hey, Carl. Come in! Come in! Bobby's out in the bodega. Go say hi. But if he's trapped himself in the dairy case again, don't let him out. He has to learn. I wasn't sure if you wanted breakfast or lunch, so I made both. I could eat both. Damn, total meat! Go, so Lincoln. Let's go. Time to walk the plank. Okay, I respect the laws of the sea, but can I eat first? Sure, I'm a pirate, but I'm fair. Welcome Ow. back, Lamo. Hey, Ronnie Ann, I brought you a present. Oh, cool, a royal wood sweatshirt. I got it at Gus's Games and Grub. Uh, sorry it smells like garlic knots. Beat smelling like a dog. <laughs> Thanks. Ow! Ronnie Ann, it's Samir calling. I'll call him back later. Who's Samir? Oh, Samir's a part of Ronnie Ann's little group of friends. They're all thick as thieves. It's so sweet! <laughs> oh, I'd love to meet them. No, no, this weekend's all about you. Come on, we have a lot of catching up to do. Hey, get back here with my prisoner! <gasps> Boo Boo Bear! Babe! Oh, you're so cold. I just got out of the dairy case. Come see my latest improvement to the bodega. I organized the money so all the presidents face the same way. You're such a businessman. Thanks, but it took me so long, now I have to work until five. That's totes okay. I can spend the day exploring the city. I hope you love it as much as I do. I'm sure I will. I'm a city girl at heart. Babe, can you let me out? I was trying to get you a soda! <sighs> hey! hey Ronnie Ronnie Ann. Ann. Hey, those kids are calling you. Hey, didn't you hear us? Duh, obviously not. Hey, I'm Lincoln. I'm sure Ronnie Ann's told you all about me. Actually, no. I'm Casey, that's Amir, and that's Nikki. Sup? How do you know Santiago? Uh, Blink's a part of my rough and tumble past. Ha! <laughs> the only thing rough and tumble was that church carnival ride that made us puke up our cotton candy. We should get going. You guys want to hang with us? Heck yeah! yeah. Sweet! You bet! Welcome to the top deck. Don't forget your complimentary souvenir photo on the way out. Ooh, this view is amazing. Our tallest building doesn't come close to this, but it does provide a great view of my friend Liam's chicken farm. I've never heard of a chicken farm in the city. I don't live in this. Oh, look, a blimp. Ah, you missed it. 
Oops. Hey, Ronnie Ann, it's pretty cold up here. Don't you want to put your sweatshirt on? No, I'm good. Then can I borrow it? I'm cold. No, you're good too. Just let me borrow it. Hey, what's your problem? I know what's going on. You lied to your friends and told them you're from Uptown instead of Royal Woods. What? That's ridiculous. I'm not dumb. Are you embarrassed about being from Royal Woods? Just drop it, Lincoln. Well, you can do what you want, but I'm not lying about where I'm from. Why do you have to mess everything up for me? I didn't ask you to come here in the first place. You're right. So maybe I'll just go right after I take my complimentary souvenir photo. Lincoln, you can't leave. I didn't mean what I said before. I do want you here. I just don't understand why you don't want your friends to know you're from Royal Woods. I don't know. I guess I wanted them to think I was a city kid so they'd want to hang out with me. Well, if they're really your friends, they'll like you for who you are, not where you're from. Guess you're right. Thanks, Limo. Come on, we need a do-over of today. Uh, just doing our weekly door inspection. This one fails. Can we start with the redo of my complimentary photo? It didn't come out that great. <laughs> sure, but let me take care of something first. Hey, can I talk to you guys? Um, I haven't been honest with you. I'm not from the city. I'm from a small town called Royal Woods. Both of us are. I'm sorry I lied. I get it if you don't want to hang out anymore. Of course we want to hang with you. Yeah, we don't care. I mean, I'm from Kansas. Wait, what? I'm just messing with you. Hey, let's get something to eat. I'm suddenly craving garlic knots. Hey, Link. Hola, familia. Rosa, Lori tells us you're in an interesting predicament. Yes, my astrologer, Ernesto Estrella, proclaimed our entire city to be cursed. For the love of Einstein, everyone knows that luck is pure absurdity. Sweetie, they brought flam. Flantastic! <laughs> Good one. Uh, I'm a flan of your work. <laughs> ah! Check out this dumb Eiffel Tower. Oh, uh, wow, you've gotten so much better, Lincoln. I've been practicing. I hope we're not putting you out. Okay. <laughs> Of course not. We totally have space for 12 extra people. Yeah! 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 Just don't touch my stuff. Oh, I'm going to touch it all. <laughs> Who's ready to eat? I've missed your dad's tuna casserole. Not as much as I've missed your Abuela's tamales. <laughs> Guess we also missed dinner. Gotta go, gotta go. Oh, knock, knock, knock on the bathroom door. Oh, I gotta go. No, Boo Boo Bear, you go first. Oh, babe, I'd never go before you. You're my number one. No, you're my number one. <laughs> well, I gotta go number two. Lin oh. oh. Lad with a steal. Oh, oh. Hey. Oh. Ha. Oh. Wait a second, I need that. See, who needs the bathroom? Yeah, we have the sink all to ourselves. I bought him here. My princess toothbrush! How dare you! Well, on the bright side, we don't have to sleep on the floor. On second thought, I'd rather sleep on the floor. At least you're not in a cover! Good night. May you all sleep like the dead. Ah! Ugh, I want to go back home. I think it's kind of fun. We could pretend to be the mummies of ancient pharaohs. Ah! You're not helping! Stop drooling on me! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? Ah, need a snuggle. Guys, it's been a long day. Let's just try to get some sleep. There's something in the coffin with me. Abuela, <laughs> 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 please. We can't stay here. It's too many people. Mija, it might be hard, but at least we're not in bad luck city. <laughs> 
This is worse than bad luck. Huh? The heck is all this? No, no, I'm still on the road. Oye, me bien, you have to cancel my next appearance, too. Just say it's a curse again. Que feo! This pimple has gotten even bigger. My fans can see me like this. Ernesto Estrella? Oh, a fan. I love fans. You lied about Great Lake City being cursed because of a pimple? Oh, an angry fan. Estrella out! You're not on TV right now. That's not going to work. Thanks to you, my abuela made us leave Great Lake City, and now she's taking us to live in the woods. I... I didn't see that coming. I'm so sorry, muchacha. I never thought my words could cause so much trouble. Please, let me try to fix this. You better fix this. <laughs> You're very scary for your size. Oh! It is I, Ernesto Estrella. Hall for applause. Oh, oh, look, it's the Bobo in person. Mucho gusto, Bobo. The universe tells me my biggest fan may have a bad luck problem. Ugh. <laughs> oh, yes. There's the black cloud. Don't worry, Miss Estrellitas. I'm here to help. Let's cleanse the Casa Grandes. Thank you, Ernesto. You've saved me, familia. You truly are the best of. My pleasure. Don't forget to buy several copies of my new book, Esto Destino. I pre-ordered it in three languages. And I've got something for that pimple. <gasps> Hi, Boo Bear. Oh, sorry, sorry, I missed your... your... Oh, you, you go. go. So I have to tell you this crazy story about the freezer case. Ah! Not another one! Oh, I thought you liked my stories. No, 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 it's not that. I thought I sat on a baby snake, but it's just a scrunchie. Oh, well, that was a dumb idea. What? Uh, I didn't do it on purpose. Huh? No, no, not, not, not you, babe. I accidentally made Lalo a hurl, but I'll clean it up later. So what were we talking about? The freezer case? Oh, right. Uh, actually, you don't want to hear about that. It's boring. Let's talk about your day. Oh, okay. You won't believe what happened in math. Actually, that's kind of boring, too. Well, you probably want to... Sorry, you go. Wait, Wait you, you have, have to go? go? Um, okay. Well, well love, love you. Bye. Bye. Dinner's in five. Trying a new thing with cod... F Dinner's in five. Grandma's making, you know, everything. Dude, are you crying? <laughs> What's wrong, kiddo? Bobby, Bobby and I, I just, just had, had the most awkward conversation, conversation ever. ever. <laughs> ha, ha stay here. I'll get back up. Uh, this isn't really my department. But it is ours! Why was it so hard to talk? Is the distance getting to us? Are we losing our connection? Yes, it is hopeless. You should let Lori be free to find a real man. Uh, Carl, uh, why don't you go use the potty before dinner? Don't worry, Bobby. You know, your aunt and I were long-distance sweethearts while she was in art school. Oh, your dad and I had to be apart for a month while he had mono. Those ding-dang karaoke mics are just dripping with germs. Dad, ew. But even when you are separated by miles, you can still keep the passion of your hearts aflame. Aunt Frida, ew. This is supposed to be the most romantic restaurant in town. You literally eat in complete darkness. Ooh, trendy. Hey, babe, I found us a free table. Oh, get off me. Sorry, sir. Poor man with a deep voice. Hang on, Boo Boo Bear. I think I found a light switch. Oh. Turn it off! Oh. Oh. my dress! Uh, I'm so sorry, Boo Boo Bear. Hey, don't worry about it. Why don't we just grab some nachos and flips? And maybe some paper towels. Chili cheese and jalapenos. Lori's favorite. Wild cherry and cola. Bobby's favorite. <laughs> oh, it's, it's hopeless. hopeless. <laughs> Babe, I don't know what's happened to us. Neither do I. But if it's this hard, then maybe we have to face the truth and think about... Letting go! <laughs> hey, snap faces! Get cleaning! 
Guess I better wash up before heading back. Grandpa will get mad if the bodega truck smells like cheese or whatever this is. It's been 10 minutes. Is he not coming back? Does he never want to see me again? Bobby? Um, hey, so the bathroom door is broken and I can't get out of here. Okay, Boo Boo Bear, the fire department's on their way. Oh, I hope they get here soon. You know how terrified I am of confined spaces. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. I'll stay on the phone with you until they get here. Oh, thanks, babe. So what should we talk about? Um, well, I could tell you about that funny thing that happened in math. Oh yeah, I totally want to hear about that. Oh, and last week for dinner, my dad tried this new thing with cod. Cool. Like fish sticks or more of a filet situation. Okay, so would you rather give up all cheeses or all desserts? OMG. Hmm. Tough one. I know, right? Because what about cheesecake? cheesecake? <laughs> <sighs> This is so nice. And so easy. What did we think was so hard again? I have no idea. I guess I let that one awkward phone call get me all freaked out. Same. Maybe we've been trying to fix something that isn't broken. I mean, we know we love each other, right? Of course. You're the best thing that ever happened to me. Oh, Boo Boo Bear. Great idea asking for a ride, babe. I know. Isn't it literally so romantic? Yeah. Hey, maybe we can try to finish that movie when we get back, even though I know Nina dies. Oh, come on, man, spoilers! Special delivery for Ronnie Ann! Nice try, Lincoln. Happy break anniversary. The faulty floorboard trick? What is this, amateur hour? I was just warming up. Score tied at zero! Settle! Nada! Thanks, Sergio. He's our scorekeeper. Okay, rules are one point per prank, one point taken away for fails. The house is fair game. But no pranking my abuela unless you have a death wish. Let the pranking begin! Oh, hey, Link. Trying to booby trap the Mercado, huh? Pretty smart. Know what wasn't smart? Leaving your backpack here. Yeah, we can fill it with a nutritious snack. Lincoln's about to get changed. Or something a little fishier. Lincoln's going to be cat bait. That's my evil genius. I'll go tell him now. No, not that window. Mm -hmm. Fire! Minus one point! Sergio, you don't have to do that. I can't go any lower than zero. I'm a stickler for the rules. <laughs> Link has to use the bathroom sometime. And when he does, he'll be in for a big surprise. Toilet paper made out of sandpaper. <laughs> okay, all done with the toothpaste. Oops, got some on my hands. Sid, no! Ah! Wait, is another point! Oh my gosh, Ronnie Ann, I am so sorry. Let me get that for you. Ah! Maybe you can sneak into the Mercado, spy on Lincoln, and find out what kind of pranks he's planning. But be careful. Ooh, reconnaissance. On it. Those pranks were for Ronnie Ann. Sorry. Ow. Minus 10 points for Lincoln. I called this truce to say we're not sure this prank thing is working out. Nice try, Ronnie Ann. Pranking me into thinking it's over. Psh, I see you. Uh, Sid, I'm serious. You have some great ideas, but you can't expect to be prank master in a day. It takes time, and you're kind of, sort of... Prank wrecking the prank anniversary. Sergio! No, he's right. Maybe you can practice and join in next year. Yeah, totally. I was sick of pranking anyway. I just didn't want to bail on you guys. But since you're cool, I think I'll head to the zoo. Oh. Think we were too harsh? Couldn't have hurt worse than getting pummeled by mangoes. Good point. Well, guess it's back to the prank war. After you. Thank you very much. <laughs> One point for Ronnie Ann. Sid! 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 Look! It's Sid's box of pranks. 
Looks like she went this way. Snake! Snake? Where? Sid, where are you? Right here, but I'm stuck and I can't see anything. Please tell me Sid's not inside that snake. I was running from the monkeys and I fell into this dark, sticky cave and... Oh, yep, I'm in the snake. Don't worry, Sid, we're coming. <laughs> My only sister, eaten by a reptile. I'm not emotionally prepared for this. Oh, no, you don't. Uh, uh, squeeze, uh, Lincoln, squeeze. Uh, uh, it's uh, not working. Barf up my sister. Sid, I'm so sorry. We never should have said you were wrecking our prank anniversary. If we just included you, none of this would have happened. It's okay, Ronnie Ann, because you've just been changed. Sid, okay, what's going on? At first, I was mad at you guys for not including me. But then, I decided to get even. I had Igor swallow my walkie-talkie, along with a giant turkey. <laughs> Guess he's keeping the turkey. We got you guys good. Wait, so you faked being eaten alive and scarred us for life as a prank? <laughs> Best prank ever! Really? Aw, thanks, guys. Sorry we underestimated you. We won't make that mistake next prank anniversary. Double point! Sid's the winner! <laughs> Boo Boo Bear, how excited are you for our anniversary tomorrow? <laughs> so excited, babe. I can't wait to celebrate the first time we ever ate pizza together. Tia Frida even made me a special pizza tux. Aww. That's so romantic. You still want to go to Gus's Games and Grub? Of course. That's where it all started. Remember how we shared a large pepperoni? Oh, yeah. You bit into it and burned the left side of your tongue. Oh, yeah. That hurts so bad. So, I'll pick you up tomorrow? Can't wait. Bye, Boo Boo Bear. Abuelo, just the man I needed to see. Lori and I are celebrating our pizza anniversary tomorrow. Can you cover my shift? I'm sorry, Roberto, but I'll be at the big Mercado convention. This year, they're giving out door chimes. Oh, well, you don't want to miss that. I'll just have to break it to Lori and Tia Frida. She was really excited about the pizza tux. Don't be ridiculous. Go see Lori. There are plenty of people in this family who can watch the Mercado. <laughs> No, I forgot to tell them something. Phone, call Ronnie Ann. <laughs> huh? Hey, Bobby, what's up? I forgot to tell you. The restrooms are for customers only. They gotta buy something. I usually encourage them to buy toilet paper. That's why you called? Okay, I think we got it, Bobby. Adios. What now? If anyone comes in for walnuts... No one will. Walnuts are the worst nut. Hey, guys, where do you want these mangoes? Just get me in a quick set. Thanks, Bar. Just set them by the fish. No, not by the fish. They'll absorb the fish smell. And don't let Bar do any more exercises with the fruit. Bobby, quit worrying. We've got this. Bobby? That's right. I don't appreciate being cut off. Yuck. From communication. Well, we didn't appreciate you spying on us. We've all helped out here and know what to do. Look around. Nothing went wrong. How can you say that? The mangoes smell like trout. The milk is facing the wrong way. This can is off by a centimeter. You're being so picky. That stuff doesn't matter. It matters to me. I don't need a bunch of kids coming in here and changing everything. You'll understand when you're older. Oh, I think we understand now. You just like the Mercado run in a very specific way. So run it yourself. Yeah, we are quick. Later, Hefe. Now what? I can't close the Mercado. Par's going to need his post-workout protein bar soon. And Mr. Chang's going to need his coffee for his night shift. Plus, Lori's waiting on me. Oh, no. Lori. <laughs> Maybell, I'll be right back. Take your time. Sorry it took so long, babe. Anyway, I was thinking we could get half cheese and half pepperoni. No! Cashews cost a fortune! I said cheese. Oh, great, yeah. Let's let's just get that then. <laughs> What's this? One dinky flower? My babe deserves a bouquet. B-R-B-B -B with a B. The last B is for bouquet. I knew it! You're with your other love on our anniversary! No! Maybelle and I are just friends! Maybe if I was 50 years younger. <laughs> I mean, the Mercado, Bobby. <gasps> no, Lori. 
Oh, Boo Boo Bear, this is so romantic. And these pizza tacos your abuela made are delicious. Thanks, babe. I'm just glad we're finally celebrating our pizzaversary the way you deserve. Thanks, Boo Boo Bear. Literally, best pizzaversary ever. Uh oh. Maybe Tia Frida shouldn't have used real pepperonis. No, no. Go! Ah. <laughs> oh, 